Hello all, welcome to session 83 of Software Testing Made Easy course. In this session, I'm going to explain about beta testing. So let's get started. What is beta testing? There are two types of testings that can be performed as part of the user acceptance testing. The first type of testing that can be performed as part of the user acceptance testing is alpha testing. The second type of testing that can be performed as part of the user acceptance testing is beta testing. I've already explained what is alpha testing and what is user acceptance testing in the previous sessions. Now in this session, I'm going to explain what is beta testing in detail for you. Now let's find out what is the motto behind performing the beta testing. The motor behind performing the beta testing is same as the motor behind performing the user acceptance testing, where we perform testing to cross check or double check before releasing the finalized software into the market to see whether the users or end users will accept the software or not. This testing that is user acceptance testing or beta testing is performed to cross check or double check before releasing the software into the market to see whether the real end users will accept the software or not. That's the main motto guys but who will be performing this beta testing? The real end customers or real end users, okay? The real end users or real end customers will be performing this beta testing. So these customers are already aware that this is not a final or uh, what you call is a stable one, okay? This may have some defects, they already know. So by keeping that in mind, this, this end customers or end users will install the software in their real environments and perform the beta testing and as part of the beta testing this real end users or customers will provide a valuable feedback okay so whatever they feel they will provide the feedback after using the software in the real machines along with the feedbacks they also provide some defects also okay so by going through this feedback or defects we can find out whether our software okay is capable of being accepted by the users or not. Before releasing the software into the market, we can find out whether our software is suitable for the users or not, will be accepted by the users or not in the market. So that is the main motto behind performing the beta testing, which will be performed by the real end users or customers. And the type of testing the real end users or real end customers will be doing here is a black box testing. This customers or real end users will be performing which type of testing? they'll be performing the black box type of testing. And as part of this testing, they'll provide the valuable feedback along with the defects guys. So hope guys you understood what exactly is beta testing. Let's find out whether we have covered everything or not. As part of beta testing, as already mentioned, it's one of the user acceptance testing types. User acceptance testing types, uh, there are two types, right? One is alpha testing and beta testing, right? So when will the beta testing will be performed? Beta testing will be performed after the alpha testing, okay? So initially, unit testing, the first type of testing in the levels of software testing that will be performed is unit testing. This will be done by the developers. Developers will be performing the unit testing. After the unit testing is done, then the next one, that is integration testing will be performed. Integration testing. This also will be done by the developers only. This falls into the unit testing and integration will fall into the white box testing. After the developers are done with the unit testing and integration testing, then the next level of testing will be performed by the testers. The testing is known as system testing. System testing will be performed by the testers where the testers will be testing the entire software or complete or whole software. Here testers will be performing the system testing. Once the software becomes stable or finalized as part of the system testing, then the next type of or level of testing will be performed that is nothing but this user acceptance testing in that first level okay first type of testing that is alpha testing will be performed the next level or type of testing that will be performed here is user acceptance testing as part of the user acceptance testing firstly alpha testing will be performed alpha testing will be performed right after this alpha testing is done then the next testing will come is nothing but the beta testing okay as part of the user acceptance testing only okay as part of the user acceptance testing or uat only the next type of or next uh, testing will be performed is nothing but the beta testing 
so guys when does this beta testing will be performed beta testing will be performed after the alpha testing as part of the user acceptance testing and it will be performed by the real end users or customers in the real environments and as part of this testing this customers or end users will provide the valuable feedback along with the defects and uh, the type of testing they will perform is a black box testing here here this beta testing will be performed by the customers or real end users what what about alpha testing alpha testing will be done by the testers guys okay software testers developers and some potential customers also will accompany here along with the testers developers even potential customers customers will be doing this alpha testing but coming to the beta testing everything will be done by the customers only real end users or customers will be installing your software in their real environments as part of the beta testing and uh, they will provide the feedback sign defects real feedback and real defects you will get and whatever this kind of uh, testing they will do right that is nothing but the black box testing here okay you see unit testing is white box integration testing is white box system testing is black box user acceptance testing is combination of black box and white box but here uh, that is alpha testing user acceptance testing is combination of white box and black box but coming to this beta testing type of user acceptance testing here customers will be doing only the black box testing black box testing fine so anything left uh, i think this is what guys okay this is what is not is uh, beta testing so hope guys you understood what is beta testing now so that's it guys thank you bye